Hi Scorpio, it's your honest homegirl Keisha Anique and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you'd like to support your girl. That's all I ask of you. Um, if you want a personal reading, I'm open temporarily for readings. So look in the description box below on how to get one. And for my first time clients, I do offer free distant Reiki healing for you guys if you want it. Um, if you like Zodiac horoscopes and live readings from me, you can check me out on Instagram at The Honest Homegirl. And I do uh, post some motivational things as well on there. Um, but let's get into your intuitive message, Scorpio. And then we'll get into the divine feminine masculine energy of Scorpio. And then the random messages that include messages from your person at the end. Okay. Um, I do feel Scorpio intuitively you guys are dealing with matters of the heart you surrender into spirit you are dealing with suppressed emotions that you may have thought that you were releasing but you didn't release them um a lot of you have been lying to yourselves about your healing journey and we all go through that stage of oh i'm good i'm releasing i'm doing this i'm doing that and really when that tower comes and it smacks us in the face, there's no more lying to ourselves about how much of avoidance we have been avoiding uh, when it comes to matters of the heart, okay? I do feel that a lot of you guys, I've, depending on where you are on your healing journey, you can either be lying to yourself and avoiding uh, doing the inner work that you need to do doing the deep meditations that you need to do, uh, taking a break from life, uh, contemplating a lot. Um, this is what you could be doing or you're at that point where you're like, you know what? I have to stop lying to myself. I have to do more inner work. I have to do the shadow work. I have to start meditating more. I have to sit there and stop contemplating and just do. I have to sit there and take a break because if I don't take a break, I'm going to break. Okay, I do feel like a lot of you have been withdrawn um, from the outer world. You've been, you know, keeping to yourself and being isolated versus you going out there. And because it's like you're trying to avoid people, but you need to you still need to interact with people as well. That will help with your healing. That will help uh, test you. And it will also allow you to see where you are in your your personal growth journey. Okay because of how you interact with people, how you respond to people, how you decipher things and how you use your discernment and your intuition. So you have to be around people and that's the only way you're you're going to get tested. Cuz if not, you're not going to test yourself. It takes for you to be around other people, places and things in order for you to test yourself to see how much you've grown. A lot of you guys have high priest, high priestess energy. You're very intuitive, okay? Um, some of you at this time, you have your visions like are crazy. Like your dreams is off the chain right now. Okay. Um, some of you that are actually doing the inner work, the ones that are putting in uh, time to do more soul searching and stuff like that, you're realizing that your spiritual experiences are very strong at this time. Like when I say the dream state is crazy, your your deja vu visions is crazy, like um, your intuition is more heightened at this time. And it's due to you putting in the work, you focusing on healing yourself. And the more of you cleansing your body, detoxing your body, following your heart, healing mother and father issues, um, allowing these towers to happen but it's like you're embracing these towers some of you are kind of even taking on the energy of aquarius energy where you are taking everything with a grain of salt but it's like you are like with an aquarius they use emotional intelligence and it's like you have been putting everything in these boxes because that's what Aquarius do. They put things in boxes and they deal with one thing at a time. And I feel like that's what you're doing. But you're getting to that box now again. It's like you circled back around. You have all these priorities, right? In a circle. 
and it's it's time for you to get back to that that emotional box again that healing box again okay and i feel like you intuitively know that it's coming up again I, I, anybody that's been working on themselves for a very long time you know when it's time you you feel it in your bones you know you can't even lie to yourself, oh shit, here it goes again, here goes that tower again, here goes some healing I gotta do, here goes some releasing I gotta do, here goes another another spiritual pop quiz coming up for me. You know it's coming. Some of you, you're very focused on, on learning the lessons. And you're willing to sit there and put in the work and, and go in hermit mode for a second to, to do whatever personal growth that you need to do. Because people think that, oh, you heal from one thing, you're healed from everything. No, it's like school. There's levels to this healing. There's certain things you're going to heal from. And it starts with your childhood and all the shit that transpired in your childhood. Hopefully you ain't have too much of a bad childhood because then you'll upgrade faster to dealing with your adolescent traumas and depending on what you was doing then is what you gonna have to heal from then you got your young adult then you got your adulthood years and then we ain't even get into elderly phases yet unless you're above the age of you know 50 you know um or 60 you know like around that time is when you go through another uh death and rebirth okay because there's all you you deal with different what they call them midlife crisis yeah they, you 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 have a midlife crisis from transitioning from being an infant to a toddler you have a midlife crisis when you go from being a toddler to a big boy or girl you have a midlife crisis from being a big boy big girl to to a tween and teenager and then from teenager to adulthood young adulthood and then young adulthood to adulthood you always you're going you're gonna go through these phases it's like it's time for that death and rebirth again and in Scorpio, and especially with my Scorpio moon, I feel it. Trust me. I be knowing like, ah, oh, here we go. Here's another another lesson. Here comes an, and I'm going to have another spiritual pop quiz after I learn this lesson. It's like we learn the lesson, but then it's do you pass the test? Because it's the test that if you don't pass the test, you got to sit there and circle back around and deal with that karmic lesson all over again. You know what I'm saying? And you intuitively know these things. So stop fucking lying to yourself, Scorpio. You know what you got to do. You know what has to get done. So just get it done, okay? Some of you, you have to sit there and open up your heart because I was also getting uh, yoga where it's like yoga for your heart chakra. Um, you doing meditative, uh, like you know how they have like those frequencies on, oh my gosh, there is a freaking turtle walking across please don't hit the turtle please don't hit the turtle please do not hit this turtle turtle please make it across the street thank you for the magnificent outcome that this turtle gets across the street before another car comes i wish i could show this to you right now there's literally a freaking turtle there's a freaking turtle walking across the street People don't believe me. I'm pausing your video. I'm going to go record it. Scorpio, I have to set up my my thing where you guys can literally see what I see. Because my window faces the street. And I see all types of animals when I do your reading. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. But I will show it on the shorts. Um, you can check that out where you'll see the little turtle. Um... Well, I might just add it in your video. I don't know. We'll see how I could do it. But yeah, so let's look up the spiritual meaning of um, turtles. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Spiritual meaning of turtles. Like, when I think of turtles, I think of taking your time, okay? Um, I think of that, uh, what's it called? That uh, that story with the tortoise, and the, the tortoise and the hare or something like that. And and this turtle right here, even though he moved slow, he made it across that street before, <laughs> before the male lady got here uh, and would have probably ran him over, okay? He's over here walking down 
into the bushes somewhere. He's probably making his way back to the pond that's in the backyard. But take your time with yourself, okay? Now, it says turtles symbolize and meaning includes longevity, uh, steadfastness, protection, retreat, healing, tranquility, uh, preserve what? Perseverance, um, the earth, transformation. Uh, it says turtles is finding the way to move forward and live through heavy times. Okay, so a lot of you guys could be dealing with a lot that's been going on in your life. You guys have, listen, Scorpios, well, listen, let's let's just be for real with ourselves. Let's stop lying to ourselves. We done been through some shit, okay? We done been through it. We done been through it all, okay? Um, you meet any type of Scorpio, we done, we done seen it all, we done done it all, we done been through it all. And it's because every day we wake up, it's like we go through a transformation. Like, I know when it comes to my emotions, they are changing all the time, okay? And I feel like Scorpio, you know, sons is a lot with your personality and, and who you are as an individual. And, you know, with your rising, it could be with how you show up to other people and things of that nature. That's why it's great to know your natal chart um, and the basics of astrology so that, you can look at these readings from different perspectives, but I do feel like it's time, okay? And I feel like this time, this transformation has a lot to do with things that you've been feeling or avoiding to feel at this time, and it's time to feel it now, Scorpio, like really, really feel it, because that tower is coming, um, and it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks, but how you handle it, how you respond to it, you've learned so much and you have so much wisdom that you have to utilize those things to help you get through these times, okay? Um, because this, this, this death and transformation that you're about to go through is going to push you to so many new heights and it's going to, you're going to tap into your gifts even more, okay? Um, I do recommend you doing a fast where it's literally just fruits, vegetables, water, herbal teas, and fresh juices, 100% juice type of thing. That is going to help you, okay? Because at least energetically, at least health-wise, uh, you'll be a little bit more grounded, okay? The emotions won't get the best of you. You'll feel it, but you won't feel it, feel it, you know? So do start implementing things now before that tower comes, okay? Um, and some of you may want to just kind of get away from people for a little bit too because, you know, when you're purging and releasing things, you don't want to project that out onto others. But let's get into the divine feminine energy now, Okay. I'm going to have to do a timestamp differently because I stopped the video. I had to plug in my laptop, guys. This is about to die. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's going on with Scorpio Divine Feminine Energy. This is for both males and females because so we embody both energies. This was just the Divine Feminine part. Okay, so Divine Feminine Scorpios, you guys are focused on your abundance. You are focusing on um, leadership. You are also focusing on strengthening yourself, standing in your power. Um, you're waiting on things to come your way, okay? Even when it comes to finances. Um, you could have been playing games when it came to this, okay, when it came to your finances, when it came to um, you stepping up to the plate, you standing in your power like you're supposed to, you speaking your truth and you basically walking it like you talk it type of energy. For some of you, when it comes to your success, it's going to come from you having fun, not from you um, being all stern and strict. Okay, in order for you to move forward in life uh, and to get the flow of abundance, whether it's, you know, with money, whether it's just with resources, whether it's with connections with people, um, 
networking and stuff like that you have to go out there if you you cannot sit there and be afraid to talk to people be around people and yeah you may be one of those type of people where you can feel people's energies a lot stronger than others but you have to test how else are you going to test your willpower your strength on how can you test how well you protect your energy unless you go around these people you got to be able to move in a room full of vultures like you you have to you got to be able to go out there in the woods and be alone and come out a wolf like you really like you got to play the game you got to know how to play the game in order to move forward cuz i feel like there's a game that you got to play and you got to know how to play it very well in order to win and if, and if it's the game of life you you got to learn you got to play chess, not checkers, baby. This came out on the side. So some of you, you could have been worried about being pregnant. Some of you could be. Some of you aren't. Um, some of y'all could have been playing games, okay? Having a little fun. And you could have had a pregnancy scare. For others of you, you are being divinely guided to show up for yourself your mom, your grandmother, your great grandmother, whoever's been deceased, um, that's a female ancestor, they want you to focus on you. Okay. They want you to focus on taking care of you. They want you to focus on the stability and security that you need. You have to focus on being a leader in the family now. Cause I feel for some of you, cause I know for me, a lot of my Oh, the elder females have passed on and I noticed that a lot of my little cousins and stuff and even a lot of the older people in my family come to me and talk to me and ask for my advice and it's like they've passed on that torch to you now so if you realizing that a lot more people are calling you about advice yeah see you made a commitment You made a commitment to, 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 to being the one to heal, being the one to change the game, being the one to better yourself for the next generations to come because you're going to be the one with the answers. And eventually you're going to be the one passing on this torch and this commitment to another female or another male in your family to heal things, okay? Some of you are definitely dealing with Aquarius or Aquarius energy, okay? Like... They expect you to do what you came here to do. Whatever your miss mission is, that's your commitment, okay? You committed yourself to this. So whatever you've committed yourself to, Scorpio, you, you need to fulfill it because that's the only way your wishes are going to be granted, okay? A lot of you need to understand, too, that you are on the right path. If you've been questioning, if you've been on the right path, you are on the right path. Some of you, your ancestors are working on the other side because they do see that you want a commitment with somebody. You want to have a family with somebody. Uh, you've been t talking to them about manifesting the perfect partner, the perfect mate. That's happening, but that's not happening. This wish fulfillment is not going to happen until you commit yourself to you first. Okay? You have to commit yourself to you. And if you want to get pregnant, we're going to turn this up right here. Where you, you can't be playing games when it comes to your your success, when it comes to your stability and, and security. You got to sit there and make sure you are well taken care of. And if you decide to have a kid or if you were to find out that you were pregnant, that you, that's something that you won't have to worry about because you have committed yourself. Your ancestors want you to be in a committed relationship before you get pregnant, I'm just saying. They don't want you being like them and not ha being married, okay? Or whatever, or being in, like I said, a long-term committed relationship where you, um, because I'm here in wedlock. A lot of kids was born out of wedlock. They don't want that. They want you to, and and then I'm also hearing too somewhere. Uh, I don't want to. Don't get offended by this about what I'm about to say, but for some of you. You were born out of like sneakiness, like a parent knew what they were doing and their intentions on having you weren't the best intentions, okay, for some of you. 
Like some of you came, were conceived because a parent was trying to keep a marriage, keep a relationship going, keep somebody, stop somebody from moving forward, moving on. But I feel like it happened anyway. Like even though it happened, that, that person still moved on with their lives type of energy. For some of you guys, you will be getting pregnant and getting married to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? A lot of you guys could be in your feelings at this time because you're going through a change, all right? Or your father could be going through a change. Your business could even be going through a change at this time. You may not see where this change is heading. You may not know for sure if this is the right thing to do, but you need to follow your heart. With this teardrop here and this transformation, you have to transform or change how you feel about a particular person. Could be this Aries Leo Sagittarius, or this could be how you make your money. This could be if you want to step up and be a natural leader. Like, don't commit yourself to things that you're not willing to stick with. And if you committed yourself to something, then you need to stick through with it and stay a solid individual. For some of you, you cry to your ancestors a lot about um, life in general. They hear your cries. They don't take them tears dropping out of your eyes lightly. And the thing is, they want you to face yourself because that's the only way you can change things. Some of you have manifested a, a natural born leader in your life, someone that you can learn from, someone that can teach you the game, someone that can um, bring abundance and fortune into your life. Because I feel like with this manifestation card right here in the middle, there's a lot of manifesting. It has a lot. And the thing is, it's connected to your emotions. Okay. So how you feel is what's going to manifest because I told you you guys your psychic abilities and stuff like that are very strong at this time so be mindful don't play games with your capabilities too some of you you are utilizing your gifts in the wrong way and that needs to change okay Don't play no games in the month of August. You will be too fertile. And if you don't want to have a baby, you better strap up because the month of August, your ass will get pregnant. Too many interruptions in your in, in, in your video, Scorpio. You guys probably got too many distractions going on. And that's probably why spirits like you need to stop lying to your motherfucking self and get your shit back in order and get yourself together and work on your manifestation skills. But you can't work on manifesting nothing unless you're in your own energy. Okay? So stop with the distractions. Some of you, like I said, you have to have some fun so you can get out of your head. You have to get into this kid-like energy again so you can be creative. If you, you know, been st stagnant or, you know, things haven't been the way that you want them to flow in your business, you need to get back into that kid-like energy. Go have some fun. Go listen to some music. Go dance. Go do whatever you need to do to get out of your head so that you can come back with fresh energy. OK, in order to move forward. OK, I feel like you having fun is going to allow you to sit there and release things that you've been holding on to. And then you can get your, your head back in the game to move forward. Yeah, see, there's a lot of forward movement here and there's a lot of forward movement towards mental and emotional healing. OK, this Reiki symbol may be something you may want to keep around you to remind you that. This is what you're working towards. You're working towards fulfilling yourself emotionally. You, Some of you are researching Reiki. Some of you could be looking up, like if you are a Reiki healer, you could be looking up something for a, a I want to say Capricorn, um, but I really wanted to say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male here. There may be some mental and emotional healing around a male figure. This could have been your father. This person could have been very militant. Uh, this person could have worked in the government. They could have worked in military. For some of you, this is you healing 
um, and just becoming more disciplined with yourselves because of the lack of discipline you've been having with yourself. You've been researching how to be more disciplined, how to be more structured, how to be, um, you know, brave in a situation, okay? Some of you are searching on how to use your emotional intelligence uh, no matter what type of situation it is. Um, some of you are definitely... Um, not breaking the rules this time, okay? Like, you can't break the rules this time. There's no skipping over that. You can't say F this. No, okay? You have to, you got to follow the rules when it comes to this. And the rules are you utilizing your intuition. The rules are you learning how to have emotional intelligence. The rules are you loving yourself unconditionally so you can learn to love others unconditionally okay this is you being compassionate to yourself and being compassionate to others this is you taking the time to heal okay so you can heal others this is you taking the time to strengthen um your mind body soul spirit your psychic abilities okay so that you can help others do the same this is more of the energy of you having to really walk it like you talk it Okay, you have to. You can't sit there and tell people to be a certain way and you ain't doing it yourself. You got to sit there and be practicing what you preach. All right, you have to. Let's get into Divine Masculine because y'all reading is probably going to be super, super long. Hopefully not. Divine Masculine Energy. Some of you guys have a baby girl, okay? Or you could be working on um, healing a situation or dealing with a granddaughter. If you're a divine feminine watching this divine masculine, you could be healing your inner child at this time. Yeah, this is a cycle. There's a lesson that you still haven't learned from your past when it pertains to when you were a baby. For some of you, this is, um, if you've lost a child, however way you lost that child, that's not my business, okay? Um, you this is, this is coming back up again. The anniversary of this child, if the child has passed away, is coming back up again. Um, memories of this child is coming back up again. And the cycle that is coming around is, again, how are you going to handle this situation? How are you going to move forward with obstacles and challenges this time around? When you get hit with a tower, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and be emotionally balanced and understand why things are happening, understanding why you feel the way that you feel? Are you going to accept that you feel that way? Are you going to go down that dark path of playing in the devil's playground or are you going to keep taking the high road? A lot of you guys, you're like, you love the crap out of your granddaughter. For some of you that have granddaughters, you love the crap out of her. Or if you have a baby girl, you love her and she loves you so much, okay? Some of you are dealing with healing from a past situation with a, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces male. This could have been your father, okay? This person may not have been supportive. This person wasn't nurturing. This person wasn't um, attentive to your emotional needs growing up. Some of you, your granddaughter could have dealt with some type of poisoning. If you had a situation with a daughter, there was something that was toxic about either she had some type of poisoning or there was some type of toxicity like within her body. Or this could have just been around this child. And because we got this, the, the devil card here, this 
at the bottom of the deck. There could have been like some unhealthy situations going on around this child. Somebody is having to face their shadow self due to this toxicity that has a tie to a baby girl. There could have been, like I said, some type of manipulation. You could be lying to yourself about the situation that happened with your, your child, your daughter. You could be denying that it happened, okay? You don't want to let go, but it's like... It's causing blockages in your life. You're not even allowed. You have to decide, okay, on. <sighs> this got heavy out of nowhere, but when it comes to situations that are unhealthy situations that, and I'm talking vices, addictions, um, not having healthy sex, okay? Um, you lying to yourself, manipulations, you avoiding the skeletons that are in your closet. Um, it's going to come to a point where you're going to realize that a lot of the behavior that you're dealing with has to leave because it's causing blockages in your life. Even you not healing from this Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male is causing blockages in your life because I, I'm getting a feeling of you holding on, okay? Because a lot of you feel like you're protecting yourself, but you're really blocking yourself and you think you're protecting yourself, but you're not. You have to learn how to be more vulnerable. You have to learn how to express yourself. You have, and it could be a challenge for you. And this could be something that you need to change or you're moving towards doing, okay? But you have, this is a lot of personal growth within you, Scorpio, that you have to take accountability for the choices that you make. Sometimes you, ha you do too much wishful thinking versus seeing things for exactly what it is. Okay, some of you may be caught up in like this Pisces illusion energy and you need to see things crystal clear and take the rose colored glasses off. Okay, some of you, whether you know what, what's ahead or what's not ahead, you still got to learn to move forward. A lot of people around you may be deceptive or you could be deceptive at this time. People could be betraying you at this time or you could be betraying others. Okay. This could definitely be, you know, somebody got away with something and you're over here, you know, in that devil like energy versus you taking the high road and allowing God to deal with the situation because God is going to give them their karma way better than you ever could. Because if you are over here focusing on giving somebody karma, you just going to obtain more karma for yourself. OK, some of you have to learn to be more grateful for what it is that you already have so that you can get more. Some of you also have to learn to move in silence and not tell everybody your damn business because there's people that you may possibly have a child with or had a child with and you're telling this person your business and they're sending you the evil eye. Stop telling people your business. Move in silence. Okay? Some of you, you have some addictions that you know you, you got to get over. You just have to. Whether it's food, it's overspending, Okay? Sex, whatever you you gotta you gotta figure it out. Whatever your vices are, you have to decide on. Are you going to grow with this seven here? You have to know that with change, change comes challenges. With challenges comes uh, movement, and with that movement, it allows you to travel to different dimensions, different vibrations, different people, places, and things. Scorpio, okay. But you gotta decide on. Are you gonna put in this work, or are you going to avoid it? Because it's, it's inevitable, you're going to have to deal with it eventually. And I don't think you want to deal with the stuff that you could have got out of the way in your 20s and your 30s. You want to have to deal with it in your 60s and your 70s. Trust me, you don't want that. All right? Because it gets harder and you get more stuck in your ways. Now, let's get some 
random messages from your person. Well, these could be from you to your person. Got a lot of them. It says, you can't replace me. Okay, somebody could be sitting there and you could be telling this person, no, I can replace your ass. You better sit there and let them know you can be replaced. Okay, what's that song coming to my mind? Irreplaceable by Beyonce. It says, that's how you feel. Yeah, that's how you feel. Spend some time, uh, spend time, spend some time away. Yeah, you got to get away. Some of you have sex addictions, okay? Or you could be dealing with somebody with sex addictions and you could be acting like this person, especially if you're having sex with this person. Their, their, their sexual demon is attached to you. And it says subtweeting. I'm not coming back. Please come back. Yeah, you're dealing with karma, with a karmic situation with somebody. Let that shit go. It says, I'm healing because of you. Okay, good. I'm glad that I triggered you to heal. Now go on about your business. It says, me, you, and Hennessy. I did a Taurus reading that was labeled me, you, and Hennessy. That may be um, significant to you guys to so go check out that reading, especially if you have Taurus in your chart. It says, let's try this again. Psych. Yeah, don't do it. Forbidden fruit. And it says, let me put the head in. Absolutely not. Uh, you guys may want to invest in quality shoes or you may be buying yourself some red bottoms or gifted red bottoms. It says you broke your own heart. Aston Martin, somebody could be listening to Rick Ross or somebody drives an Aston Martin car or a fast car or a sports car. I'm a star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could just be healing right now. You could um, be focusing on... Uh, Sticking to your, your goals, going, staying on the right path, having more hope and more opportunities come your way. You could be dealing with a lot of twisted minds at this time. Uh, can't stop thinking about you. You may have a stalker. And it says, I know I acted like a fool. Yeah, you did. And you're out of time, motherfucker. And then it says running. You could be running. Some of you may want to go run and take a run and learn how to run properly. Get you some proper running shoes with the red bottoms, getting quality running shoes. And I made a mistake. Some of you could have went back to a karmic energy, okay? And you got that sexual attachment back to this person. Or um, it says you get mad at the small things and workaholic and make your passion your paycheck. Um there's energies around you that are just trying to suck your life force out of you, Scorpio, and you need to be very mindful and use your discernment. That's probably why you're retreating and excluding yourself out of isolation. Now, that is understandable, but for those that are just avoiding people to be avoiding people because you don't want to deal with life, that you have to get out of that rut. But if you know that you are around or dealing with clients that are twisted-minded, low, low vibrational people on a daily basis, you have to push yourself away from them for a little bit and get back to you because you can't help these crazies, okay? And because energetically, you are over here taking in their energy. I hope, especially my spiritualists, if you are dealing with clients, I hope you are taking spiritual baths after dealing with these people, cleansing yourself properly, okay? Because if not, you embody their energies and they literally sucked all the light out of you and they left you with their darkness to deal with. And just because you're a Scorpio and you know how to deal with darkness very well doesn't mean you deserve to sit there and have to keep taking on it. Take a break. I love you guys. I'll see you later.